Here's a simple inclines problem. We have a bicyclist coasting straight down a hill at a constant speed. This might not look like a statics problem, but it is a statics problem because the cyclist is not accelerating. In this first case, the cyclist is going down the hill, but then later the cyclist will go up the hill with the same velocity. What we need to find is the force that needs to be applied to the cyclist to go uphill at the same speed that the cyclist was going downhill initially. We can analyze this as a statics problem. So we'll start out with a free body diagram in the first case. In the first case, the forces acting on the cyclist are its weight, which is going to be mg, and then we have some other forces. We have the normal force from the road, and we have a force of drag opposing the motion. Since this is a statics problem, we know that the drag has to equal the component of the weight in the downhill direction. This is one of those cases where it really helps to have inclined coordinates. So we'll make inclined coordinates that are perpendicular and parallel to the road. So I'll call my x the parallel. I'm making x plus x the downhill direction just arbitrarily, and the plus y being perpendicular to the road. Here the normal force is in the y direction. The force of drag is in the x direction. The force of weight has components in both the x and y direction. So let's analyze what those are. This angle in here is alpha because that's the same as this angle. This component, the y component, is going to be w cosine alpha because it is the adjacent angle. And this side over here is going to be w sine alpha. So that's the part that we care about. In this case, this w sine alpha has to be the same as the drag force to keep the system static, to put the cyclist in mechanical equilibrium. Going up the hill, we have a very similar situation, but not identical. Now, we have some of the same forces. We have the weight down. We have the normal force perpendicular to the road. We have a force of drag, but now that's downhill. And now we have an additional force, because the rider is not coasting, has to be going uphill this way. And we can see that since in the downhill case, the drag was equal to mg sine alpha, here the drag is still mg sine alpha, but now this additional force that's pushing the cyclist up the hill has to be twice the drag, because now the drag and the weight are pulling the cyclist downhill. So f has to be 2d equals 2 mg sine alpha. And we can figure out what this is. We know that m is 80 kilograms, g is 9.8 newtons per kilogram, and alpha is 15 degrees, which, by the way, is a very, very steep hill. And let's plug those numbers in. 160 kilograms times 9.8 newtons per kilogram times the sine of 15 degrees. And I get 405.8, so 406 thereabouts, newtons.